Hey everybody, it's Derek. Gonna get another install video here for you guys. Uh, this is a screenshot of our boondocking spot where we hang out for the most part all of summer in Michigan. Uh, the install video I'm gonna show you guys though, actually, he went to the local RV parks. I thought I was gonna leave my lose my RV for the week, which is everybody's power source when you come here. But typically, this is where you would be coming. Uh, you can actually see the customer in that screenshot and our RV and stuff also. So you'll just plug into me. I'll give you 30 amp shore power and we'll get you plugged into nature. All right, let's get to the video. You'd think monster like start to monster me or something. But anyways, just dawned on me. I don't think I've filmed any of this. It's a paradigm. But, uh... No, I don't even know. It's been a long week. We're at a park in Hillman because my RV was supposed to be getting work done this week. Uh, I had to fix something I haven't really talked about much with a fiberglass crack. And it was supposed to be a two to three day fix and I took it there and then the guy told me he couldn't fix it because it was more than what he thought, which is what I said all along. Um, so now it's going to be gone all of August to a different spot. So whatever, that's a different story for a different day. Uh, putting in some big inverters, some 5,000 VA multi plus twos. Uh, we're gonna have to hang them on an angle here, kind of like that one pair of DM I did where I put them in the back where they had that garage space. I'm um, in the back there, and uh, I don't know, 2,500 ish watts on the roof, three solar controllers because we're gonna keep the factory panel that he's got. Uh, we got three big beard batteries hanging out in here. Only got two right now, but um, there'll be a third one. I'm just waiting for it to get delivered, which will hopefully be today or tomorrow. It'll better be by Friday, or I'll be in trouble. So, got the wires pulled down from the roof here. I just got to make a hole to get them through there. So, anyways. I'll show you guys what I can, what I can, what I can. What a mess. I hate it when it's like this, but when the schedules are tight. I got no choice but to keep on going. Yeah, I'm making decent progress here. So got a few things done on the roof before the rain came. Finally has stopped. Puddles dried up. But I got the auto farmer mounted back in there. And then we got the solar controllers. Big medium small now we're just trying to get the inverters in place got the hole made for the battery cables got one more inverter to hang and then i'm gonna wire the two batteries that are here i got one more coming tomorrow and then we'll probably call her a day all right guys so we're getting this one wrapped up here uh between all the rain and everything i'm glad to finally have this one done plus i got a busy day getting this one on the road and the head cell for our youtuber install check out these orange I don't know what you call them, like silicone protectors for the ladder, the ladder against the roof. No more taped on rags. I didn't like taped on rags in the painting business, and I didn't like it in this one either. So these work much better and just look better. So anyways, we've got a nice, decent amount of solar on this paradigm. Paradigm. I always say it wrong. Somebody just correct me. I see paradigm and it's paradigm, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, so there's 2,660 watts up here. <clears throat> We put four Renogy 250s, three of the Rich Solar 335s, and then we kept the factory panel. So we got one, two, three, and then back here in the corner is number four of the Rich or Renogy 250s. So we got this one and this one together in series, and then that one in the back is with the front. And then we got four of the 335s. So those two are in series, and then those two are in series, and they come together in parallel. I put the combiner box in. I've been using more combiner boxes lately rather than entry glands. If it's just one string I'm putting in, I'll put an entry gland in. If it's more than that, then I've been using a combiner box like that there. I, I just think it looks a little cleaner. So and I finally found a good source for the MC4s that mount to the box. That was part of the reason I didn't use a box before. Now you saw this panel here. Oh, that one different one. That is the factory. It's a Renogy 320 actually. And I just kept that on the factory entry gland. Take you down below and show you the rest of the system, the Victron equipment and batteries and stuff. So I made use of this top front bay like I've done um, and some other of the Alliance Paradigms I've done. Uh, these 5000 V inverters, there's not enough wall space, so I had to uh, kind of do what I've done before. Um, 
and build a wall to hang them on an angle. Sorry, I'm thinking about a hundred things. So then down here, we got the links set up. So we got links power in, links shunt, two links distributors. And we got the three strings of solar. So we got three solar controllers. Then we got two converters making the 12 volt. Even though there's no generator on this one and really 70 amps should be enough to run everything. They're cheap enough that we just put two in because why well, even worry about it? If the fridge happens to be running the same time you try to run the leveling jacks and then there's some lights and stuff on, maybe it's more than 70 amps. Uh, we got the two 5,000 VA multi plus twos and then they go to the Victron uh, auto former down there like you guys have seen me use all the time on my dual inverter setups now. Uh, these batteries down here disconnected we just left them there for him to haul them where he's headed to next he's got somebody he's going to give them to so those are not part of the system anymore take you around and show you the batteries here so we put in three of the big beard 24 volt 300 amp hour batteries so he's got 900 amp hours of 24 volts or 1800 amp hours of 12 volts so i mean this is certainly a decent sized battery bank Full disclosure, I actually had to switch one of these batteries out, but once I got it home, opened it up, I realized it just had a bad end on one of the wiring harness Todd makes, buys pre-made, so I changed that, and then it worked great. So that blue light you see on the ceiling there, that's the servo, and inside we mounted the Touch 50 screen, which connects to the servo, and then you can see all your equipment info on the screen, and then change whatever settings you may need to change, like input current limit from time to time. So we finally got this install all wrapped up and the customer's happy by like five, six o'clock in the evening. Said goodbye to the family for a week, which was really hard. I don't say goodbye to my family for an entire week. Um, hardly goodbye at all. And just made my way down to South Carolina. I got there at like, I don't know, 5.30 in the morning to do endless RVs install, which we did at the RV dealership. They bought it at RV Max. So the dealership was cool enough to put me up in that beaver there, which was awesome because I thought I was going to stay in the truck and it was so hot I would have died. Uh, then we put a nice system on here. So that was a bunch of rich 250 watt solar panels. And then we put an awesome Battleborn and Victron system in there, which this video or the system was sponsored by Battleborn with Endless RV. But Battleborn makes a great battery. I used to do nothing but Battleborn install. So, so go to their channel and check it out because they made a couple videos on this and they were great to work with. So that's it for this video, guys. Here's all my contact info. There's emails that come in that don't get responded to, which I know I've mentioned before. I sound like a broken record saying that, but I literally work every second I'm awake and try to spend an hour or two with the kids each day, and I rinse and repeat seven days a week. So reach out. I do have time left in October for probably one more install before we leave Michigan and get out of here and start chasing warmer weather. So I appreciate everybody. This business and this YouTube channel is my life along with my family, so I appreciate all of you. Please like and subscribe.